Hey guys, I've been doing quite a bit of hauling lately, so I thought I would share with you all of the beauty items and some of the accessories I've gotten. Let's start with Walgreens. So I went in mostly to just get some nail polish remover, and this is by Cutex. It's for gel nails, glitter, and hard to remove polishes, which I thought perfect because I can't stand just you know, taking forever to remove my nail polish off my nails. I saw this and I was like, if it works anywhere as well as acetone, then that is definitely worth the buy. But it works really well so far on regular nail polishes. I have um, some glitter nail polish on now, so I hope that it works really well to remove this too. And then I saw that Sinful Colors, Sinful Shine, these are called with gel tech. I saw that these were on sale for 99 cents, so I couldn't help myself. Most of the colors were already gone. I could tell that people really took advantage of that sale. But I saw these two in the shade Steel Reserve and Breakaway. So I can't wait to try those out. And then lastly, I got this Wet n Wild lipstick in Cherry Bomb. It's like a very crimson, deep type of red color. So I'm just really getting into the fall mood, so I've been kind of collecting few more deeper colors. I also went to Ulta because I needed some um, <laughs> pencil sharpeners. I always end up losing them, but I wanted one with like a cap on it because it just can get so messy, especially for my kit. So I bought two of them. I have one in my kit and one for my own personal use. And this is by Essence. So far, I'm loving it. It's sharpening my pencils really smoothly. I'm not getting like annoying jagged edges or breaking like the tip off of my pencils. So if you guys need like a really good cheap one, this one by Essence is awesome. I also saw that Ulta was having a sale on their lipsticks and I never tried their lipsticks before. These are sealed so I really had a hard time seeing the color, but I could just tell that this one had like a hint of purple in it, which is why I got the color. So far I'm really liking it, it's just a nice cream lipstick. It has no scent to it or anything, so I think it was on sale for like $4, which, which is a good price. I saw this tiny... Smashbox Full Exposure palette and I just had to get it. It has eight shades. I believe it's like around $22 or something, which I know seems really ridiculous for something this little, but it actually ends up being cheaper in value than the full Smashbox Full Exposure palette. So that pretty much sold it to me. The size alone, I mean, look at how tiny and sleek this is, guys. Like, I just fell in love with the, the mini-ness of it. So I really can't wait to try this, and I'm really hoping this shade right here will be great for brows because it's like an ashy tone brown. Sigma sent me this recently, which I was so perplexed about that I thought I would share it with you guys. I mean, clearly I didn't actually haul this, but they're going to be releasing this, I think, in, was it, it's either like second or first week of October, and it is this 3D HD brushes look at that that is so it's so unique like they're they think the patent is pending on this I believe it says on here that you're supposed to try to use it without like stretching your face or kind of contorting it in any way because it's supposed to fit in all the angles and crevices of your face so yeah that will definitely be interesting to try out I also went to Sephora because I have been kind of on the hunt for different eyelash curlers one of the um, sales ladies there she said that the Lancome one has the same patent as the Shoe Mirror. So I was like, really? Okay, let me just go ahead and try it. It feels different from the Shoe Mirror one. I think the Shoey is just, it feels a little bit flatter, but this one feels really good too, and it curls the lashes just as nicely. I just noticed that the, like, the prongs right here, I kind of feel it digging into this area a little bit more with the shape of my eye because I think it's just because it's just not quite as flat as the shoey, but it is a really good one. I also caved and finally got the Beauty Blender because I've just been hearing so much hype about it. Even just looking at it now, I'm like, wow, that's really tiny, but I know that it does expand once you wet it, so we shall see. It says it's latex-free, modernized the way you make up. They had the little, little tiny green ones too, but I was like, no, I'm just gonna try this one first. And because I am such a lipstick girl, I definitely wanted to get another really nice deep berry lipstick, and this one is by NARS. It's so beautiful. It's in the shade Janet. It is what I'm wearing right now, and uh, when I was trying different lipsticks as I was like walking around Sephora, and I just loved the way that this one slicked on. It felt so good and comfortable. So that's why I got that one. And lastly, oh my gosh, seeing this, I was like, is it holiday season already? 
So they had this Superstars, like Sephora favorites. And when I looked at this, I thought, holy crap, like there are several favorite, like personal favorites of my own in here. So I decided to get it because I thought it would make a really great gift for someone, meaning one of you guys. So if you guys are interested in entering this giveaway, watch until the very end of the video and I'll let you know how you can enter. All right, let's go into accessories. So I did some shopping. I did some shopping online too. ASOS being one of them. I got these glasses because I think they will be really, really great for this fall season. I just love like the cat eye shape, but kind of more on the rounded realm because I feel like it's a little bit more um, flattering on my face shape. Let's put them on real quick without killing the hair, but just to give you an idea of how that looks. Love them, love these. I actually really love how the frame is like thicker too. I also have been on the hunt for some bags and stuff. So at Marshalls, I found some really cute ones. I got this one, which I am loving. I thought the chain on this was actually decent quality because you can usually tell when something looks cheaper just by the chain. So I really love this and this was 30 bucks. I just think it'll be a really interesting like pop of gold and texture on you know more simple outfits and this color is really easy to pair as well so it's just a tiny little bag i love crossbodies i can't get enough of them this one also has a chain um but this is kind of like a cheaper chain like i was referring to earlier it's thinner it really i'm just not a fan of but i really got it more because i really think this will be cute as a clutch because you get all this nice texture here i like the little tassel here too i'm a huge like fringe girl loving that and that's pretty much it it has two compartments this one was 20 bucks if you guys recall i did a video where i was showing you my necklace picks that i did for bobble bar um, a little while back and literally guys i have been wearing those pieces non-stop i love them and recently they sent me some new items from their guest bartender of the month, which happens to be Emma Roberts. If you guys didn't know, each month they have like a new guest bartender. It's just like cute lingo because bobble bar, guest bartender, so adorable. But when I opened this package, I didn't know what I was going to get. So it was really exciting and really just fun. This is what I got. As you can see, it's like a book in the shape of a book. Guest bartender is told by Emma Roberts. When you open it up, like this adorable display. How cute is that? And just to quickly show you guys how these pieces look against me, I will style them more properly soon on my blog, so check that out. But this is the necklace, love it. I have a ring pretty similar to this, so I am adoring, adoring the style. So just so you guys get an idea of how that looks. Very different, different from anything I have in my collection. It doesn't feel too heavy either, surprisingly, because these are definitely bigger in their statement, but they feel rather comfortable. This is another piece they sent from their collection with, Emma Roberts. You're gonna see this one real soon in an upcoming WXW. So yeah, that's what they sent me, and I really, I love the pieces. If you're interested in trying out Bobble Bar, they actually have it to where you can get 20% off all your purchases now. It used to be just your first purchase from Bobble Bar, but it's all your purchases now. So 20% off if you go to bobblebar.com slash xtiner and use the code xtiner. Keep in mind that there are three E's in the middle of my name, but really it's easiest if you just go down to the info bar below and just copy and paste the code I have for you. It's just xt. E E E N E R. And now back into this little giveaway. All you have to do is just leave a comment down below letting me know if any of these items are actually your personal favorites or that you've been wanting to try for a while now. Like some of my favorites in here, the Benefit Professional, the Stila um, Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, awesome. The Anastasia Brow Wiz, NARS Blushes. Yeah, this is the, in the shade Orgasm. It's beautiful. Urban Decay eyeshadows are amazing. If there's anything that in here that you have really been loving or have been wanting to try, just list that down below as your entry and I will choose a winner in about a couple weeks. I will message the winner via YouTube. So in a couple weeks, do keep an eye out because if you don't respond within like a couple days or so, I'm just gonna pick a new winner. So definitely keep an eye out. I'll even mention on like my Facebook and Twitter that I have contacted the winners. So it's it will benefit you guys to follow me on there so that you don't miss out on being contacted by me. So. Good luck, one of you will receive it from me. 
And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thumbs up for giveaways. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. So this little stinker just came and photo on me. Say hi, Sammy. Why are you all wet? I feel like he's probably been in the grass or something. People miss you. They want to say hi. Say hi.